Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Mallory. You might recognize me from a video I did about three years ago. That video was about how I got into Warhammer and a lot has changed since then. Check out my Zinch Demon Army. So how did I get into Zinch? Great question, unknown viewer. This model right here, the Changeling. I think that this is probably the best model in all of Warhammer. It's my favorite model. I love the way it looks and I actually really enjoy the way it plays. As I learned more about the army, I recognize that it's not just the models and the playstyle, I also really enjoy the lore. As far as Chaos Gods go, Zinch is by far my favorite, followed by Slanesh, then Korn, and lastly Nurgle. What I like most about Zinch is that they are known for change, so they're a little bit mysterious, there's a lot of trickery, and you never truly know if they really are the bad guys. When I began my army, I picked up a start collecting box, which came with a ton of stuff. Pretty much half of my army here was from that box. So it included the pink horrors, the flamers, and the exalted flamer, the fate skimmer, and my screamers. I then picked up the Zinch Battle Force, and that gave me my Zangor's Enlightened, Zangor Shaman, and the Zangor's themselves. The Change Caster came from Silver Tower, and then I picked up specific boxes to finish off my army. So for the blue horrors, brimstone horrors, and last but not least, the Changer. Oh wait, I can't believe I forgot. This little guy is currently in the works. But let's put him away for now. So let's talk about painting. Painting is probably my least favorite aspect of Warhammer, just because I'm not very good at it and it takes a ton of time. But I do like my models to look good and to be painted, so I stick with somewhat of a simple process. I first prime all of my models with a white spray paint. Then I go in with a base coat, a wash, and a dry brush. I started with the pink horrors because I felt like they might be the easiest models to paint. So as far as the paint scheme for the pink horrors, I did a base coat of pink horror, followed by a wash of druchy violet, and then a highlight dry brush of Emperor's Children. For the flames, I decided that I wanted them to be a little bit more mystical. I didn't want to stick with the average fire of the red and orange, so I did white with the Gilliman blue glaze over it. For the gold, it's just Retributor armor, armor with Agrax Earthshade as a wash. The feathers are Dawnstone with a little bit of white highlights, and the silver is Lead Belcher with Nuln Oil. As far as toenails go, I just used black, and that goes with fingernails as well. And the teeth are Oosh Body Bone covered in Ag Agrax Earthshade as a wash, and the eyes are Uriel Yellow. I like to keep the paint scheme consistent through all of my models, so a lot of those colors that I used on the pink horrors I used in different variations on the different models in this army. For instance, the Brimstone Horrors have the same pink for their eyes as I used for the base coat of the pink horrors. Brimstone Horrors is by far the easiest model to build in this army, and that's for obvious reasons. For the blue horrors, the base coat I used was Kalidor Sky with a Drakenhof Nightshade wash. Um, the silver and gold are always the same, and for the tongues, I used pink horror pink. The Zangors were probably one of the toughest units to paint just because they have a ton of details, like skulls and gems on their belts, and painting with metallics is not fun. For my twist spray, I decided to do metallics on his horns just so he stands out when he's on the battlefield. As far as the Zangor Enlightened go, I decided to give them the Fatecaster Great Bows because it gives them more range. And then when they are in close combat, they actually get an additional attack because they're on a Blade of Zinch, so I think that's pretty cool. I built a Zangor Shaman last, but I kind of really like how the model turned out. He looks really cool and he gives other Zangor units, a cool ability when they are within six inches of him, they get a plus one to their hit rolls. So overall, he's a great model. The Flamers were some of the last models I built. I was kind of on the fence of whether or not I wanted to keep them. Unpainted, I didn't think they looked that great. However, now that they are painted and they are part of the army, I love them. So I like that they have ranged weapons. They can provide shooting and one thing I will say is I like their playstyle as long as you do not get them caught in close combat. They just aren't effective and you lose out on them. 
The Exalted Flamer is a lot the same, however, he has obviously a powerful flame and more range. So the Fate Skimmer was fun to build. I actually decided to magnetize it, not only for easy storage, but also because you can run this model by itself as a herald on a disc of Zinch. Haven't done that yet, but doors are always open. Another thing is the fire has two options. I like this one because it kind of looks like he's playing with the fire rather than using it. And then the head, I chose the Zangor like head rather than the pink horror head because I just prefer that look. The Fate Skimmer overall I think is a great model. Um, it has some psychic abilities as well as some ranged weapons and you get some extra attacks because of the screamers in close combat which I think is awesome. Now on to one of my absolute favorite models, the screamers. So I actually have five unique screamers which is kind of cool. So what I did is the kit comes with different heads and tails, five different heads and tails. However, there's only three different bodies. So what I did is I took a sprue from another Fate Scammer and used those two bodies to make five unique Screamers because I love them that much. So one cool thing about the Screamers is one, they move super fast. They can move 16 inches. But on top of that, if they move over an enemy model, they can roll a, a D6 and for each six, it's a mortal wound on that enemy. So that's sweet. Another thing is their weapons have negative AP, negative three and multiple damage, which is sweet. And last but not least, the Changeling. Like I said before, by far my favorite looking model in all of Warhammer. I love the flying robes and the arms out, it's just sweet. So a cool thing about the Changeling is actually its weapon. So it's called a Trickster's Staff. And I actually recently played with the Changeling against Warp Talons. So how the Trickster's Staff works is if you're in close combat with a unit, you take on the weapon profile of that unit. So I got to use the weapon of the Warp Talons against the Warp Talons and pretty much wipe them out. So that's sweet. I probably will go back and add some highlights to the robes just to show even more movement with them. However, I am happy with how it turned out and I love this model. Let's put him away. So overall, the Zinch, although they were tough to paint, they're still by far one of my favorite armies. I love the way they turned out. I like playing with them and reading about them. Going forward, we will be doing more army showcases on this channel, and feel free to like, comment, or subscribe, and we'll see you back next time. Bye!